If you play Castle Crashers, you might be wondering, which element is stronger, fire or ice? I'm gonna go over each element's characters, weapons, and pets. And after that, I'm gonna say which one is better. And also, let me know down in the comments which one you prefer. Anyways, let's get into the video. So the first category I'm gonna be talking about is the characters. The fire category has three characters. The orange knight, fire demon, and the alien. The ice category only has two characters, the ice gamo and the ice knight. Although the fire characters are still pretty good, I still find the ice characters to be just a little bit better. The reason why is because I find that freezing enemies is more effective than just setting them on fire. Because when you freeze them, it doesn't like allow them to move, which I find to be better than the fire magic, as the fire just makes them take a little bit more damage, and they can come right back up and just hit you. The second category I'll be talking about is the weapons. There are three weapons that do fire damage in Castle Crashers, and only two that do ice damage. When I say fire and ice damage, I mean that each damage has a percent chance to set enemies on fire or freeze them. The three fire weapons in Castle Crashers are the alien gun, the candlestick, and the demon sword. The two ice weapons in Castle Crashers is the fish and the ice sword. Overall, both the fire and ice weapons are pretty mid. The only decent weapon is the demon sword, so therefore I'm gonna have to give this one to the fire weapons. The third and final category I'll be talking about is the pets. The fire category has one pet, while the ice category has two. The pet in the fire category is the dragon head, which will shoot a fireball every now and then at enemies. The first pet for the ice category is Pelter. Pelter shoots a snowball at enemies every now and then, just like Dragonhead does. And the second pet in the ice category is the Yeti, which prevents the player from getting frozen by ice attacks. The Yeti also has a hidden feature where it gives the player plus 2 strength, making it pretty effective. Dragonhead and Pelter are pretty bad since they take a while between shots. The only decent pet out of the three is the Yeti, so therefore I'm gonna have to give this one to the Ice. In conclusion, the Fire Element has better weapons, while the Ice Element has better characters and pets. Therefore, Ice is superior to Fire. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And also let me know what other video you'd like to see me make. Anyways, thanks for watching.